हेलो फ्रेंड्स जय श्री राम दिस इज वन ऑफ दोज वीडियोस वेयर आई टेल यू स्मॉल लिटिल लाइफ हैक विद इन लेट्स से टेन मिनट्स सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू हैक टू यू नो मेक योर curtains a little porous without compromising with your privacy see the problem is that if you are living on a first floor flat like this and if you put on a curtain uh, then you know it obstructs the flow of air as you can see over here it's obstructing the air flow but then you cannot have a translucent curtain either because you are on the very first floor people can see through into your flat you don't like that so you want privacy but uh, you also want the air to flow freely so what's the solution solution is eyelets eyelet means this kind of a hole into your curtain but you don't want such big holes through which people can see through into your room so you want very small holes just enough to let the air pass so i'll tell you how to do that i was in the process of doing it anyway so i thought why not make a video for all of you see first of all take your curtain down okay and you can install this kind of eyelet okay this is just a demonstration i'll take it off i installed it on the other side um this is how it will install on the back side it will look like this and on the front side it will look something like this okay so i'll tell you the whole process how to install this eyelet first of all put your curtain down make the measurements and you mark where you want the hole like over here we want a hole i have marked it here i want a hole i have marked it here here and so on so i want six eyelets to be there across this line again across this line also i want six along this line also i want six of them okay so why why so because um, if you see my curtain will be folded like this right so um, this side is this side is the window side okay so this will be like this it will be touching the window right so that's why along this line i want a hole okay similarly this will be along the window uh, towards the window so that's why here i want the holes the other side which will anyways be like this here i don't want a hole okay so i don't i'm not putting a hole over here so here i there is no hole here there is a hole again put all the holes by taking measurements using a scale okay like for example it is uh, some 16 cm from the top and uh, then 18 and a half cm all across so that it divides uh, the curtain into six equal parts okay so this is how i made all these measurements if you find a difficulty in seeing uh, the parallel lines then uh, you can use uh, this kind of a set square so what it will do is it will tell you that this line is perpendicular to your edge okay and along this line then you can put holes okay this way this way uh, us using again the scale okay uh, feel free to use a uh, uh, i think pencil uh, to uh, draw lines if you want otherwise uh, take a leap of faith you know no one is going to uh, see it uh, very meticulously uh, but you know in general the holes should be well aligned so that the, it looks better like this uh, this hole should be at the same height as this hole so that it looks better again this one should be at the same height as this one okay once you are done with marking the holes we will take the curtain to a place where we want the holes to be punched into them so for hole punching you can use this eyelet puncher मशीन पी यू एन सी एच पंच टाटा पंच आती है ना वो वाला सो वॉट इट डज इज बेसिकली सी दिस इज एन एनविल दैट कम्स विद इट एंड दिस एनविल हैज टू साइड दिस साइड इज फॉर ड्रिलिंग अ होल एंड दिस साइड इज टू फिक्स द आईलेट ओके सो फॉर ड्रिलिंग अ होल यू पुट दिस साइड लाइक दिस यू पुट इट डाउन ऑफकोर्स आई हैव यूज अ वुड ओके ऑफ एनी थिकनेस बट आई हैव यूज दिस वन and i have also uh, used a, a dense cloth at below it so that uh, you know it gives uh, it does not slip first of all and it also absorbs the shock so that my tiles don't get damaged in the process okay now you use this side up which is for drilling hole okay you put your fabric and then 
you put this and just hammer it with any simple hammer okay so this will punch a hole through the fabric this is uh, the first way of doing it second way that many people use it is just put the fabric on this uh, you know wooden surface and uh, you know just use this tool okay puncher see this is the chisel okay this is a chisel and this is the puncher okay so use a puncher it has a hole inside it okay so use this and you know just uh, give a few a few hammer strokes so that will also punch a hole i tried to do it it punched the hole through the uh, wood but it did not uh, punch a hole in the fabric because my curtain was a little thick so both these ways do not work very well for me so i'll tell you a way which actually works i'll put it over here so that it is stable see let us say that i want to punch a hole over here okay i have made a marking over here right so the way i do it is i just form a crease over here using my nails okay like this and then i just fold it at right angles like this so i want a hole at this point right so i take a pair of scissors and i just cut it like this okay don't cut it too much okay if you cut it more than the size of your eyelid then it's going i mean that hole won't work for you right so you want a very small hole okay so just just the tip of it take just the tip of it and there goes your hole now how will you install an eyelid let me first show you how big is that hole the hole is this big you know this eyelid should just pass through it and i told you that this side is wrong see this hole is wrong i'll work with it don't worry about it nothing nothing will happen uh, i'll put a fabric over here and i'll still put an eyelid on it or maybe i can put a bigger eyelid over here eyelids come in different sizes i'll put a bigger one over here uh, so the way to do it is i'll just uh, you know i i cannot put the eyelid from this side because uh, this is the front side of the eyelid and this is the back side of the curtain oh my god what are you doing so front side of the curtain goes well with the front side of the eyelid so front side of the curtain goes with the front side of the eyelid okay this is how the eyelid will go it went through now i'm holding the eyelid i'm turning the whole thing around see this is how it is i'll just put it down but i won't put it directly on the wood i'll use this anvil i'll use this surface up which is used to uh, you know fix the eyelid okay so this surface on top of it i'll put this whole curtain and that eyelid thing like this okay done now on top of it i'll use this eyelid puncher but wait 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 just not like that i have to use the smaller part of the eyelid this part okay so that it looks better i'm just putting it over here okay once again i'll show you i hope it comes in the camera properly so now the eyelid is something like this the bigger part went through the hole okay the bigger part went through the hole it came out and on the other side i have the smaller part okay fixed like this the whole thing goes on the anvil the whole thing goes on the anvil like this okay it is fixed nicely i'll put the chisel on top of it see i'm putting this thing okay this thing this is chisel this is for drilling the hole don't do this use this one this is the chisel i'll put on this i'll see whether all the holes are aligning and then i'll just put three simple strokes one two three so what will happen is this bigger part of the uh, you know eyelid broke into various pies and all of them folded on top of the eyelid and this is how it finally looks from the back uh, from the front side it looks uh, like this flawless absolutely and from the back end it looks like this now once this is done you want to give it a little finish you see over here there's a gap 
ah that doesn't look good so you want to punch it furthermore but first of all you fix till this level and then you give three more punches but this time you have to punch it real hard okay so now i'm keeping it here okay now we'll be punching it real hard okay three times yeah this one okay one two three got it now if you see there is no gap between the fabric and the eyelet this is how you want it to be this is the finished look of it okay but don't punch it so hard right in the beginning first of all let us see how it is and at the end you do this so here the fabric is completely connected to your eyelet okay probably i struck it a little too hard uh, two strokes would have sufficed uh, if you punch it really hard probably the eyelet will deform itself fortunately this one did not and from the front, front side it looks like this the eyelet should not move okay that's that's all that your purpose is eyelet should not move even if it moves not a big deal but you know i'm just telling you the artisan way of doing it now i know if you're doing it for home it's absolutely okay no one is going to review your work so this is how it should be okay uh, do let me know in the comment section whether uh, this is helpful for you as well i think this idea is good uh, it does not compromise with my privacy and also lets out the air if you like this idea do let me know in the comment if you don't like it then also let me know in the comment if you have a better one until next time jai shri ram ye hai amit shirasa amit shirasa amit shirasa amit shirasa